the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 291, Mark 4-6 I love Jesus. Jesus performed countless miracles and considered the value of one soul more precious than the whole universe. First point, Jesus, who was tired from spreading so much love, could not even feel the storm. One day, Jesus was teaching the people as usual during his public life. Jesus used easy parables so that the people could easily relate to the kingdom of God, and this included the parable of the sower. Jesus taught many people, but not all of them took it in the same way. Some did not have faith to believe. Jesus spent the whole day teaching about the kingdom of God, and then when night came, he crossed the river of Galilee to head somewhere. A fierce storm came upon them, but Jesus did not wake up from his deep sleep. This was all because he was so tired. Jesus was woken up by his disciples, and he calmed the storm and wind. Jesus then rebuked his disciples for their little faith, and they feared Jesus' spirituality from that point forward. Second point, Jesus pierced through the wild storm in order to heal the demon-possessed man. The storm was so furious that even Peter, Andrew, John, and James, who were fishermen, could not deal with it. But Jesus slept through the storm without even starting. The place they headed, despite Jesus being so very tired, was to heal a man who was more precious than the world. Jesus went to a demon-possessed man who had been cast out from society. Even his family had given up on him. But Jesus went to find and then healed him. However, after Jesus performed the miracle of healing, the villagers begged Jesus to leave the area. Third point, Jesus healed the demon-possessed man and then sent him back to his family to bring them joy. The people who saw Jesus heal the demon-possessed man were afraid and asked Jesus to leave, but the man who was healed wished to follow Jesus. However, Jesus considered the man's family, and told him to return to them. They just traveled all that way during the night in order to heal one man. They just had mercy and love for this one soul. They just did not hesitate to sacrifice 2,000 pigs in order to save one soul. They just then took the boat to get to the other side. This is where Jesus came across a woman who had been bleeding for the first 12 years. She believed that she would be healed if she just touched Jesus and thus was saved by her faith. First point, Jesus' disciples did not have enough time to eat because of their salvation ministry. Jesus sent his disciples out to the jobs. Later on, the early churches also sent out pairs of workers to spread the gospel. The disciples were paired, and they were to go and make the people repent, and to spread the gospel as well as to ward off demons. They returned to Jesus once their job was done, and they then set out again with Jesus. Jesus and his disciples went to the people, who were like sheep without their shepherd. This expression was in reference to Moses' prayer. May the Lord, the God who gives breath to all living things, appoint someone over this community to go out and come in before them, one who will lead them out and bring them in, so the Lord's people 
will not be like a ship without a shepherd. The people who gathered to learn from Jesus now had to return home. However, they were all hungry, and there was not enough money to feed them all. Jesus told his disciples to feed them. Jesus performed the miracle of multiplying the fish and the bread and fed them all. Fifth point, Jesus walked on water in order to decrease the workload of his disciples. After the miracle of multiplying the fish and the bread, Jesus went to pray and then walked on water in order to reach his disciples. When the disciples saw that Jesus was walking on water, they were most surprised. Matthew recorded this instant that Peter, who fell in the water, called Jesus the Son of God, whereas Mark focused on the fact that the disciples still did not understand Jesus' identity. Jesus wished to decrease the workload of his disciples by walking towards them, instead of making them row towards him. Jesus then had to heal more sick people. When the people heard that Jesus was coming, the sick gathered, hoping that Jesus would cure them. They believed that touching Jesus' loves would heal their illness. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 